Hey guys, Derek here with the Keith Home Team. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can digitally sign a document on your mobile device, and we're gonna go through this step by step. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna turn on my cursor here real quick, just so you can see the touch. From the screen recording, we're going to go check our mail. You can see here at the top, there's a signature requested. Your signature is requested. Uh, I have test for screenshot in there, but um, I just made up a fictitious Usually that'll have the address, so one, two, three, anywhere street, and the seller's or buyer's name, the client's name. This particular page is a listing page, but they all work the same. So you'll see the signing invitation addressed to you in your email. As you scroll down, you'll see a start signing button. Press that. The document page will load through AuthentiSign. It will ask you if you would like to adopt that signature there where it shows the, the client's name, Jim Beam, along with the client's initials, JB. You can accept those or you can draw your own signature. If you want to accept, then you simply hit accept. If you would like to draw your own signature, it's totally fine. We'll go ahead and do that now. So we'll select draw your signature and you just use your finger and like so, hit next, draw your initials. and adopt signature. Now, see there it shows where I put the custom signature in there. Like I said, you can draw it or accept the one that the program gives you, which is actually what most people do. Now go to accept. Now, this will show you your progress bar at the top, the 0%. You can hit start and it will jump you to each spot in the signature. Or if you'd like to scroll and read through the entire document, which is what I usually advise my clients to do, you can just scroll through all of the document, read everything, it's fine. You get down to the bottom, you're like, okay, this all looks good. You come up to the top and hit start and it will take you to the very first location. See there in the center left of the screen, it says seller's initials, JB. You All you do is just touch that spot and it initials and moves to the next one. See now we're on page two of seven. I'm gonna touch that one. It moves three of seven. It just steps you right through and shows you every spot that you need to initial. five of seven, six of seven. You can't see it, but I'm tapping each one of these to get it to initial. Now you see where it says sign here. Once I tap that, it puts my signature in there. And that bottom one I had to initial also. Once you get all of them finished, it will give you this option to stay in review where you can read over it more, you can reset it and try again, or you can just tap complete signing and you are finished. If you want to add a password in here for your AuthentiSign, you certainly can, but it is not required. So I'm going to tap no thanks. And here is your completed ticket for your AuthentiSign document signing. You'll also receive an email once all parties have signed with a copy of the contract or copy of the document 
signed with all party signature. And that is it. You're finished. All right. We did one uh, showing you how to sign off with AuthenticSign through your mobile device. And now we're going to show you how to do it on the desktop. So we'll step through. So we just log into your email. I have a document here that I have to sign. So I'm just going to video that for you. Once you log into your email and you open up your email, this is what it's going to look like. It's just a signing invitation here. And you just click the start signing. It will open up AuthenticSign for you. And give you a chance to and give you a chance to review all of the documents prior to signing. So here you, here you go. You can see it just it shows progress at zero, and you can just scroll down through and read the documents. Make sure everything looks kosher. Obviously, if you have any issues with anything or don't understand anything, reach out to us. We'll answer those questions. Uh, if we need to make edits, anything like that, we certainly will. Okay. So once you review the document. All looks good and you're ready to sign you will just reach up here click start and it will take you to the very first location a lot of people make a mistake of scrolling through looking for the signing locations but it's best to just hit start and you can see it immediately takes you to the, the top spot that you need to sign so see I have zero of five mandatory fields or signatures that need to take place so I'm signing as a broker right now on this, so we're going to sign here. One, see now it says one of five mandatory fields or signatures. And my second signature, my third signature, fourth on the estimated net, and fifth on the estimated cost. Once you do the very last signature, it will ask you if you want to stay in review or if you'd like to complete your signing. So I'm finished. I've already reviewed these documents. I know and understand what I've signed. So I'm going to hit complete signing. You'll see this confirmation right here. And you'll also get an email once everyone is signed with a copy of the contract for you and everybody in the party all gets a copy of the ex executed contract. And that's it. Have any other questions? Just reach out to us. Reach out to us.